The COVID modified Olympic Village is ready for athletes. And organizers say they are ready for fans. Venues will now be allowed a spectator capacity of 50%, up to a maximum of 10,000 people. Well, I got to tell you, my reaction this morning when I heard that was, yay! Like, um, and, and I have to do it quietly because it's pretty much what I'm going to have to do when I'm in Tokyo. That's because Team Canada's chef de mission, Marnie McBean, and everyone else at the arenas will not be allowed to cheer. I think to golf, I think to tennis, I think to live theatre that a quiet audience can give incredible gravitas to a moment. And for sure, you know what? People are going to still do, they're going to gasp and they're going to clap and they're going to stomp. The three-time Olympic champion says her athletes are just happy to be competing after the one-year delay, even if no Canadian fans will be allowed to travel. I know it's it's not perfect. Um, nothing has been over the last 18 months, um, but there will be witnesses. There will be people present to share um, in the energy, in the moment. The IOC says not everyone in the Olympic bubble will be vaccinated. For the residents of the Olympic villages, it will be well above 80%. So far, only one in six Japanese people have received a vaccine dose. And Japanese Prime Minister Yoshihide Suga warns that if infections in the country rise again, events may yet happen without any fans. Polls suggest most Japanese people want the games postponed or cancelled. Redmond Shannon, Global News, London.